All right, what's happening, YouTube? We're back at it again with another Dell laptop for us to look at because that's what you guys like, so I'm just going to keep rolling with this. This is a Dell Latitude E4310. I was able to pick this up uh, from a friend slash viewer by the name of Michael. I will go ahead and link his channel in the description. I uh, do not remember his exact username because it has a bunch of numbers in it, but again, I will link it in the description, so go check him out. He doesn't really make videos, but I mean, I figured, you know, why not? So... Anyway, I picked this up from him. This thing is actually in kind of rough shape, as which you know you'll find out as soon as this video continues. You may be able to notice this chip in the lid that's kind of gone, and that's just kind of the tip of the iceberg with this thing. Normally, there would be a time in which I would fix the issues that this thing has, but I mean, obviously, I just have other financial obligations and priorities these days. So here it sits in the condition that it's in. So of course, this is a 13 inch uh, business grade laptop. I was actually, uh, I had a hard on for these back in the day because my mom used to have a Latitude E4200 and uh, you know I was, er, sorry an E4300. The E4200 is a 12 inch, never mind. So yeah she had an E4300 and I was like wow this thing's pretty cool and I eventually had an E6400 which is the 14 inch version and you know so on and so forth. Anyway the point is these are kind of neat and so yeah, this is an E4310, so that would be first-gen Core i series instead of the Core 2 Duo that the E4300 was, and you know, so on and so forth. Of course, it has a, this one has a gray lid. That's how you can differentiate it from the E4300. That's the one main visual difference that there is. Other than that, the chassis construction is still about the same as Dell introduced in about 2008-ish for the Latitudes. So, yeah, going around it, I mean, it is pretty lightweight. This one does not have a battery which is, again, the tip of the iceberg for the condition that this thing is in. And it's kind of been used and abused, as you can see, by this uh, chip right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ports. Of course, there is our USB eSATA, a staple of Dell works, or lap, sorry, business-grade laptops at the time. Combination microphone and headphone port there. There's our exhaust vent. Here is our drive caddy, which is where our hard drive lives. This is a... Uh, I'm drawing a blank here. I don't know what SC stands for. Someone will, someone will, uh, someone will put it in the comments. It's been a long time since I've messed with these, so yeah. Moving on, in the front we have our SD card slot, which is missing the uh, blanking plate, unfortunately. Like I said, that goes back to the whole condition that this thing is in. This is a DVD multi RW drive, so that's that's nice at least. There we have our Wi-Fi switch. And here we just have one singular, regular, <coughs> powered USB port there, and a VGA port. On the back, we have one Ethernet port and the power for, the, you know, the charger. That is where the battery would sit, but obviously, like I said, it's missing, so that's that. Let's go ahead and open her up. So here she is. Again, getting back to the whole condition thing, the... Uh, the display lid is kind of floppy, so again, this is something I would fix if I was still 16 and had a lot of money to blow, but I don't anymore, so therefore, it's not a priority. <laughs> of course, the uh, you know it's it's got some wear, as you may be able to tell. The button and the the trackpad is pretty well worn. The keyboard's sort of kind of getting there. This one isn't backlit, I don't think either. So, um, yeah. Of course, without a battery, this thing is going to run throttled, which is, you know, not something that you would want. But again, I can't be I can't be bothered to spend money on a battery. There is one thing in here that I would like to touch on, though, and it's kind of a unique feature of these laptops. See the little button right next to the power button right there? This guy. This is called the Latitude On feature, and this was a thing that the these Dell laptops had back in the day. And what this was is pretty much a lightweight uh, operating system instead of pushing the power button here you could push this and it would load up I think it was Linux based but it was like a basic operating system for you to do like web browsing check email and stuff without having to wait for Windows to load which you know on a hard drive would take a minute or two especially if you had you know an older install so this is kind of a little feature just in case you wanted to quickly do something on your computer and didn't want to wait for Windows to boot up kinda gimmicky I don't really see the the point in this but I mean 
like I said, it was a little bit of a notable feature these laptops had back in the day. Of course, this one does no longer have it. The hard drive obviously doesn't have the original install on it, and so there's no partition for that anymore, and it's not set up. So I can't show it to you, unfortunately, but I thought I'd touch on it. Flanked on the side of the keyboard there, we have three volume buttons, and there we just have some status lights. There is our uh, uh, ambient brightness sensor, and yeah, so... Typical business laptop, you got your track point and your track pad. Yeah, so other than that, let's go ahead and just take a look at the, you know, let's boot it up and then we'll pretty much end this video because there's not much else to say. Obviously there's no battery, so I have to plug it in. Got a matte 13 inch screen. I believe it's, uh, uh, it's not 16 or by nine. I believe it's 1280 by 800. If I had to guess off the top of my head. Let's go ahead and turn her on. This has a 60 gig hard drive from a PS3 in it, according to Michael, so it's not, not fast at all. I believe it's SATA 2, so again, it's, it's not going to be quick, but I'm not, I don't really have a use for this laptop. It's just another one in my ever-growing collection, which you might be able to see down there. <laughs> it's clean install Windows, so it shouldn't take too long. I'll go ahead and boot her up, just show you guys that it works, and then we'll pretty much cut this video, because there's not much else to say about this type of machine. Yeah, I mean, again, there would be a time in my life to where I would fix all of these issues and upgrade this thing and make it awesome, but again, that time has passed. <laughs> Okay, that took long enough. So, let me see if I can go ahead and pull up the properties without this thing taking a massive dump. Aha! Okay, so now we get to look at the uh, basic, uh, look at these specs here. So we have a Core i5 M520, of course, which is uh, first generation i-series. We have 3 gigs of RAM, 64-bit operating system, and I believe it has the GMA 950 or the GMA 945 integrated HD graphics. Of course, this thing is not very powerful, but I mean, again, this is for more lightweight use and, you know, business use, which really does not dictate a powerful computer. There's nothing on this, so I can't really show you anything interesting, but I just kind of wanted to boot up and show the specs real quick. I'm going to go ahead and shut her down, and then I'll go ahead and end this video. So that was a quick look at the Dell Latitude E4310. I do hope you guys enjoyed. I, uh, I'm trying to make more computer videos here and there because, you know, it's what people subscribe to this channel for. But, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.